All right, guys, welcome to uh, Cookies Allotment, Devon. And uh, today I'm going to do the uh, the draw for the uh, spare beans and seed potatoes that I had left from when I planted the other day. So, uh, yeah, it's hell stone in at the moment, which is nice. So I'm just going to, uh, there's nine people going in the hat, so if you entered, then you've got a good chance of, uh, a good chance of winning something. A one in nine chance. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a great prize, but it's, it's a good prize. It's free, and, uh, yeah, you'll be able to get a meal out of it, if you like broad beans and potatoes. So, there we go, without further ado, there's the nine names in the hat. I'm gonna mix it up. Love a drum roll, but there's no one here for that. Right, here we're gonna pick, you ready? Ooh, it's exciting, it's exciting, and... Okay, we've got one. It is... Nads Palette Allotment. So, I don't think it could have gone to a, a better YouTuber, actually. So, uh, there you go, Nad. Uh, on my uh, YouTube homepage, you'll see in the About tab, uh, if you drop that open, the uh, my email address is in there. And just uh, email me your address or where you want me to post the uh, broad beans and bits and bobs to. And... Um, I'll get it in the post as soon as I can. So that's Nad's Palette Allotment. So well done. Right, I'll go and take you down the plot and uh, show you what's changed. Right, so that's the draw over. I'll uh, now take you uh, down the uh, plot for a quick look round. Um, don't be fooled by the sun, it's absolutely freezing down here today. We've had a bit of snow. It's not stuck, but it is forecast as uh, I think later in the day as well. So here we go. Anyway, nothing that's really changed on this bit. This, uh, Blue netting's where my sweet corn's going to be this year, and then in that area there, I'll do brassicas. Probably uh, grow my sweet corn inside the netting. The uh, broad bean poles, uh, sorry, the runner bean poles, have all been cleaned off, and uh, all this area is swept up. You have to excuse the noise. You can probably hear the chickens. Um, we've introduced three new chickens today. They've been separated for a while, and today's the first day they've gone in, and. Um, to say that they're uh, disgruntled is uh, an understatement. Okay, the uh, I'll just come back a little bit so you can see it. The cherry tree that I was uh, a skip find is um, doing really well. There's lots of new growth on it. You can see all the new buds. There's loads of them on that this year. So. As long as I can keep the parakeets off them, I'm expecting uh, good things from the cherry tree. The uh, African keyhole garden, still got the leeks in from uh, last year. Uh, if you remember back to the video I did the other day, my broad beans are in there. This bed here has got um, garlic in. There's garlic in there with the leeks and there's garlic in this bit. You can actually see the garlic coming up. It was only planted probably oh, 10 days ago. and. Um, you can see it all coming up there. And again in the straw. More garlic. There's the chickens, look. There's eight now. So, but um, she's the one making all the noise. So, I'll show you the chickens in a minute anyway. Okay, so what's going on in the rest of the plot? Uh, rhubarb starting to make an appearance. So that's good. The gunner is starting to um, push all the dead 
leaves even further off. You see the crowns there, so there's a one, two, three, four, five big crowns. Um, so this thing's going to be pretty big this year. I just hope it doesn't come up too quick in the frosts like it did last year and the frost got to a lot of the leaves and the, although it was big it um, it did look it did look quite sort of scruffy but um, there you are looking back over the plot let's bring you back up to this bit here the um, <coughs> the daffodils doing really well in the tyres there's alliums there as well, some dahlias in this one. Um, so like you say, we've already, already got daffodils out. And then the idea is as the daffodils die back, um, I just sprinkle poppy seeds on there, some wildflower seeds. And then you get a good sort of beef friendly display for the summer. So there you go. Right, today, this is what we've been doing today really, is uh, this area here. Um, that's all got to go, it's all rubbish to take away, sort of new composting area. This is the uh, onions that I planted the same time the other day as the garlic and you can see there's quite a few onions already sort of coming up. There's a nice one there look. I mean you come down sometimes and you can see the birds have sort of pulled them up, you just push them back in, they're fine. Okay, now this area here is pretty much what we've been doing today. This was all hedge. And um, what we've done is basically just hack it back, really. So, and then we found this uh, fallen tree all along there. That massive great tree trunk. Huge thing. So, this is the area where we're going to wood chip all this. And this will be the new area where the new shed's going to go. Door facing that way. And then in between the bar and the shed, there'll be like a plastic plastic roof so that you can uh, sit under some shade when it's raining. So there you go. So looking back over, you've got the uh, brown greenhouse right in front of you. That'll be the tomatoes again. The green greenhouse, that'll be chilies again. And then the far greenhouse over there, that'll be... Same as last year, the grapevine. I don't think we'll do any tomatoes in there this year, so um, it'll just be just for the grapes, I think, in a nice area to sit. Okay, my friend, um, he's down here streaming the other day, he streamed on the path, so that's good. The uh, This area here is where I grow all my uh, courgettes and pumpkins, so um, this matting still needs to come up manure go underneath and then rotivate it all and then put the matting back and all these big sort of areas where the clumps of weeds are they all need to come out so that's quite a big job that um, this bed along here is where I'll do my peas again this year um, what else has happened oh fruit cage I've uh, been in there and weeded all that so hopefully we'll get some fruit this year I still need to go in there and do a bit of mulching but um, we'll do that when we've got a bit more time. Started to attack the strawberry beds, so I've been pulling the weeds out, as you can see. Uh, what I'm going to do is dress the top like I've done this one with old straw and sort of chicken manure. I'm going to do that all the way along, and uh, hopefully that should suppress the weeds and keep the slugs off the strawberries. So, there you go, guys. Right, I'll uh, just quickly take you round to the strawberries, to the strawberries, to the chickens. The strawberries on my mind now. Just thought I'd show you uh, on the way to the chickens while we're here. The uh, potatoes that we planted in the buckets a couple of days ago. Um, no shoots as yet. So. I mean, I can't expect, I'm not expecting to see anything for a week or two yet. But uh, I'll keep you posted. So, uh, 
watch this space. Okay, so if you remember chicken coop, that was the original chicken coop there. And this sort of space here was all sort of dead space. So what I've done is I've put new sides, both sides, and the original door I've moved here. Okay, so now the chicken coop is double in size. So let's take you in. Hello girls, out of the way. So, and here we are. In the chicken coop. All right girls. So I did manage the other day to get some uh, nice wood chip. So we've got a bit of wood chip along. So there's a couple of birds there. Got one, two, three. They're just uh, making lots of noise today. But they're fine, you know, I think they're going to be fine. That's the big one at the back there that's doing all the uh, aggressing. But um, she's calmed down loads now. So I think they'll be fine. I think they're going to be fine. So there you go, guys. So there you go, thank you for watching uh, the video and um, if you've got any questions um, don't forget to stick them in the uh, comments section below. Okay, take care and uh, see you soon on Cookies Allotment Devon.